Peace. What's good? How y'all doing? Welcome to another edition of 60 Days of History with Zaza Ali. Today is day 17, and we will be honing in on the Battle of Adwa. This is Ethiopian history, by the way. And the image on the left-hand side is a page from the old French newspaper, Le Petit Journal, depicting Menelik II at the Battle of Adwa. Um, Emperor Menelik, <coughs> excuse me, the second, is one of the most known Ethiopian kings. With Menelik II started the modernization of Ethiopia. Telephones, cinema, railway, railways, newspapers, schools, and more were introduced. The conservative wing of Ethiopia society, Ethiopian, excuse me, society at that time was a challenger, was a challenge <laughs> for Menelik II. It would be him who would finish the unification plans of Tuadros. It would also be Menelik II who would defend the Ethiopian people against colonialism. The Battle of Adwa fought between Italy and Ethiopia was the deciding moment for Ethiopia's freedom against the tyranny of colonialism. The Battle of Adwa in 1896 was the result of Italian encroachments south of their colony of Eritrea on the Red Sea. Though bound by the Treaty of Wichel from 1889 to friendship, the Italians and Ethiopians had different opinions about the nature of that friendship. This was the famous mistranslation where the Italian treaty introduced indicated Ethiopia would be a protectorate or territory of Italy, while Emperor Menelik II argued no such wording existed in his copy. After the Italians occupied the northern city of Adigrat, Menelik II summoned his forces and defeated the Italians at the Battle of Amba Alage. In response to this defeat, thousands of Italian troops were hurried to Eritrea and, with great pressure from Rome to attack quickly, General Oreste Baratieri advanced. Due to a series of mistakes by his subordinate commanders, his force was overwhelmed. Aside from numerous casualties, one mission reported roughly 3,600 dead, though the exact number remains unknown. The Ethiopians also captured 1,900 Italians and 1,500 Ascaris, or African soldiers serving in the Italian armed forces. The scope and scale of the victory at the Battle of Adwa the campaign covered more miles than Napoleon's advance into Russia, should rank alongside any European campaign in the 19th century. Italy's defeat assured Ethiopia as the only, wait, let me read that again because it's important. Italy's defeat assured Ethiopia as the only independent nation apart from Liberia in Africa at the time. And I can't remember if at the beginning I referenced it, but this is a passage from chapter three the Kandakis of Ethiopia and Kush, and this is Ancient People, a Social Studies and History textbook. It is a full-color, 349-page historical expose focused on ancient civilizations around the world. Available in paperback and hardcover, this book places emphasis on vocabulary, spelling, critical thinking, and more. There are more than 450 photos included in the book as well. Hawaii's Last Monarchy, the Moors in Spain, the Kandakis of Ethiopia and Kush, the African Presence in Asia, and Pharaoh Hatshepsut. You can get more information from the link in the description or go to my website, zazaali.com. Peace and love.